Okay, so this is question 1.3. I will end up doing the others, but um, for now, um, I'm just doing this 1.3. And this is really trying to compare how we account um, under absorption and marginal costing. The truth is, this is what we really use in, in for reporting purposes. We use um, absorption costing. We do not really use marginal costing. We use marginal costing for making decisions, decision-making tool, ultimately. But um, there's n you do get questions that like you to um, tease out and show your understanding um, between the two. Now, the thing about absorption costing is we're absorbing all the costs. That's what's important. That's what's important. We're absorbing all the costs. But with marginal costing, we are not including in our absorption process um, these fixed production costs. We, we, we're not saying we don't deduct them. We just deduct them as they are, as period costs. So these are considered as period costs. We don't have period costs with absorption costing. We put all the costs into the raw material. Sorry, into the product. We don't put all the costs into the product with marginal costing. So that's the first point. So let's carry on. So it says that you sold, um, uh, la la la, you sold, uh, in month three, you sold 11,000 units, right? Of course, that's the same for both. So 11,000 you sold 11,000 units, and you sold these 11,000 units at 90 pounds, right? That's month three. So 11 at 90 pounds looks like 990. That's 990. Okay, great. So let's work this out. The opening inventory of month three. So in month one, you had no opening inventory, nothing, but you produced 10,000 units, and you sold, you sold 8,000. So that means you had 2,000 units left. So these 2,000 units became your opening inventory in month two. Yeah? 2,000 units became your opening inventory in month two. You then produced another 10,000 units, and then you sold 9,000. So if you sold 9,000 and you had this from the previous, it means you had 3,000 as your closing inventory. And this 3,000 units would be your opening inventory in month three, right? Because you start the month with 3,000 units. The question here is, how do we value that? Well, you must have made these 3,000 units in month two. Now, the question here is, what is the cost of production in month two? And this will vary whether we're talking about absorption costing or marginal costing. That's the first thing. Let's talk about full costing, which is absorption costing. Now, what is the cost of production in, in under absorption costing in month two? Well, we know what the direct materials are, 15. We know what direct labor is, 10. We then know you have two other um, general costs that need to be absorbed. And I'm going to divide these, of course, by the number of units that you produced. And this is 23, and this is 45. So we know that you are also absorbing 23 and 45. I'm going to add all these together. So I have 15 plus 10 plus 68, yes? And that's 93. So I have a total of 93 pounds as my, as my full cost. So the the value of this of this stock which we, this 3000 must be may have made i would have i'm assuming i used the first stock that i made right early and so yeah month month 3 opening stock must be coming in month 3 opening stock must be coming in from the end of month 2 production so that's 93 times 3000 right and that's kind of how we we know what our opening stock is so the valuation of opening inventory here would be the 93 pounds times the 3000 i'm not solving it yet because i want to compare this with marginal with marginal we do not include this period cost we don't we only include the the um the the um variable cost because it's marginal we're only looking at the so 93 minus 45 leaves us with 48 so the actual cost of the stock is 48 times 3,000. That's how we deal with this, right? Right. Um, in terms of production, the question here is in month three, what did we produce? In month three, what did we produce? We produced, let's, let's work that out. So in month three, I will just, let me just give myself some space. Give me. So in month three, what did we produce? So in month three, again, you have, you produced 10,000 units and you had direct materials of 15, direct labor of 10, but then you had variable costs of 250,000 and 450,000 here. So you have, again, if I do that, divide that by the 10,000 units you produced, that's 25, divide that by the 10,000, that's 45. So your full cost this time is um 
add all that together, it seems just too extra, right, than what I did last time. So that feels like 95, yes? Let's just do that. 25, 50, that's 95. So your production costs here are 95 times the 10,000 units. I feel like I should be using different colors um, there. Actually, you know what? I will. Let me just change that 3,000 to a different color. So you can see that this is stock that we're dealing with here. Change that. Yeah. And I'll do the same thing here, 3,000. And exactly the same thing. I'll just change my pen color. But this, and again, I'm excluding I'm excluding the um, the the fixed costs for marginal. So I'm literally asking, what is fifteen plus ten plus twenty five? And here I have here um, fifteen plus twenty five is forty. Forty plus ten is fifty. So I have here fifty times three. Sorry, times ten thousand right so uh, my closing inventory of course so let's look at what happened here you had 3000 i mean it's it's fine i just need to know the number i started with 3000 i produced 10000 it means i had 13000 available to me and it says i sold 11000 so it means i have 2000 left right i have 2000 units left so i have 2000 units of course this will be at the 95 and i have 2000 units of course this will be at the 50 right and then i just work out my cost of sales like i said i won't have any fixed overheads my fixed overheads because they're not they're they're fully absorbed into my production my marginal costs my my i will now put through all of the overheads here if you like through um in marginal costing and i'm there so let us work this so i have here um 93000 times 90, sorry, 93, forgive me, 93 times 3,000 is 279,000. So I can now gradually start erasing these. So this is 279,000. 95 times 10,000 is 950,000. And 95 times 2,000, 95 times 2,000 is 190,000. Yeah. Let's do the same thing here. 48 times 3,000 is 144. Fifty times ten thousand is five hundred thousand. And fifty times twenty thousand times two thousand, forgive me, is a hundred is a hundred thousand. So what do we have? Opening inventory plus production minus closing inventory gives us our cost of sale. So let's do that. Two seven two seven nine plus 950,000 minus 190,000 gives us, oh, sorry, let me just do that again. Um, 279,000 plus um, 950,000 is 95 times 10 is 950, yes, 950,000 minus 100, and ninety thousand. Hmm. I have cost of sale here of one zero three nine zero zero zero. Okay. Um. So it looks like I have a loss. I'm. I. I mean, it's interesting because I will check the answers after this. I'm doing this without checking the answers. So I have a loss of forty nine. I don't usually like losses, but there I have a loss of forty nine thousand. It's a loss. And let's do the same thing over here. And my cost of sale. Here is one hundred and forty four thousand plus five hundred thousand minus one hundred thousand, and I have five hundred and forty four thousand here. So my total profit is nine ninety minus these two things, yes, minus these two, two these two. 
Um, so this was 6, 4, 4 minus, yeah, so that's correct. So what is 990, 990,000, 990,000 minus 544,000 minus um, 450,000? And I have a loss of 4,000 over here. So that's what I'm getting for 4,000 over here. Let us check the answers. But I think this is the principle. Um, they should work. Um, let's, I, I have downloaded the answers. Let me just go along and pull those out. Although I haven't um, desktop. Um, download. Okay, download. No. Um, Let's see if we can quickly look at the answers. Um, let's let's quickly go to the answers. I don't want to um, stop this recording for that. Um, I think we can quickly peek at the at the answers. Let's come here. Oh no, no, we don't want that. Um, let's check ourselves. Learning portal very quickly it'll be part of the video it's fine um i'm not usually um just because losses are i mean it's possible of course it is but it's sometimes easier to see this and verify right now this will take forever uh, Maybe I have too many things open. Hopefully that should pop up soon. Let's close that. Let's give it some, make it easier for it. Okay, so this is open. Let's close this and let's come here. Oh, very slow. Okay, so here we are. Practice assessments. Let's look at the answers, the model answers. And let's see. 1.3. Yeah, we're right. So you had losses. Cool. Great stuff. I hope that helps. Yes. Great stuff. Thank you. Super.